Hi, I'm in this month's question hour I would like to talk a little bit about energetic inheritance. I talked about this before in, uh, when I was explaining actually how our energy body is built up from energies from various sources. <clears throat> I want to go a little bit more deeply into this and talk a little bit of how all these different sources and connections we may have will impact our lives. Um, because ideally, uh, of course, you would have a very harmonious surrounding. But among your friends, among your work colleagues, and even within your own family, you will usually encounter very different parts of the cosmos. And it can be very hard to understand actually why you like or dislike a person while you feel drawn or attracted to one and repulsed by the other. By looking at all these different types of energetic inheritance we can try to trace back a little bit like what is elements of your being are originating from what level and how will these different elements also affect your relationship with your family members and friends and significant others. It may even be that there is a kind of message in that, that you are attracted to certain types of people or that you actually become family members with certain types of people because there is a certain interest in that. So it can be that you are in a way the same and trying to support or stimulate each other but it can also be that you're in a way born with a complete mirror image um, or an opposite and that you have a lot of competition. But this in itself can also be the purpose that you're in a way born maybe with a competitor so that you will yeah, be very motivated to advance your skills and to develop more quickly because you're in this constant competition. So even though having these differences may feel very uncomfortable or very nasty. Uh, they can be very beneficial and they can be very useful. When looking at this, I tend to look at it not so much from the perspective of the, of the incarnated self, like is it enjoyable, do I like it, do I want it? But I tend to look at it from a kind of a more holistic perspective, like is it harmonious, is it right, is it meant to be? and sometimes even terrible things can be meant to be. Like a person may be a beggar starving in the streets, but it can be that that is exactly the type of experience that person is supposed to have. But it can also be that the person is begging in the streets and they shouldn't be there at all. They should be having a nice fruitful life and having a career and something else. So I tend to look at all these things more into um, their potential for deviating a person from the path or pulling the person out of the processes they should be in. So it's a little bit of a different look at things, a more spiritual angle I have on all these uh, differences. So we will start working with all these different types of inheritance and we'll do that in a top-down manner. In the next video I will be talking about our soul and the various energies and connections our soul might have. Then I'll move down towards the uh, egregores or the choirs which are basically groups of cooperating uh, higher beings. Then about our spirit and finally also about our bloodlines. I'm not going to go into our relationship with elemental powers or with astrological powers um, because that I deem to be more of a, of a choice which is made rather than a pure inheritance question where you're in a way linked to a whole line of things. Okay, I hope you'll enjoy this series of videos.